This is Kathleen over at Book Brush, here with tips on navigating in the custom creator. Let's jump in. First, we'll choose an ad size, and we'll navigate to the left and choose a book template. I'm gonna choose the top one on the right, and put in a book. Now we can click and move it around the workspace, and single click for quick editing here in this top gray stripe. But let's talk about all of these little icons right here that you see when you're looking at it. First, in the upper left, you'll see a little circular arrow. This helps you rotate. So you can rotate so that your book cover is at a more jaunty angle if you would like. If you change your mind and you don't need this book template, you can use the garbage can in the upper right to delete. Anytime you make a move and you change your mind, navigate to the upper left corner of the workspace and click undo. You can click it multiple times to get back to where you were. A couple other things here about the book. You can click the plus button here in the lower left corner. That duplicates the book, meaning it gives you a second one that is the identical size, which is great when you're creating graphics that are going to promote several books at once. Next is the lightning bolt in the lower left corner, and this is great because once you duplicate it, you may want to put in a different cover. The lightning bolt lets you swap covers. So it's super easy to change the cover with the lightning bolt. You will also find the lightning bolt in the top gray stripe up here, and if you've double clicked the book, you will see swap covers in the editing tools on the left as well. Now, if you have these overlapped, you can use the two little arrows in the lower right corner of the element to bring them in front and behind. So that's gonna move things forward and back. Your choice, what's in front and what's behind. So you can use those arrows to move in front and behind. And all of this also works with text. So we'll talk about that as well. Click text on the left, add a new text box. Once you've updated this with your quote, and you've picked your font, maybe changed it to an interest, interesting color. We'll use the color picker here and match one of these blues in the background. And maybe you've adjusted your text shadow and centered it. If you want a matching, just click that plus button in the lower left corner and it will also duplicate your text box. So you're not starting from square one, you have a matching text box. If you want these on top, or behind, you can use those arrows, again, to move things in front and behind so that you can design these things how you want. Hopefully those are helpful tips. Now you know where they are. Let's get creating.